Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. Yes, my name is Didi. I need to come up with a new entrance because some people yesterday to the Dutch live said, Didi, you need to make up something new. So probably, bom dia, welcome to the Bitcoin family video. Uh, yes, my name is Didi, the all in guy, something like that. Let me know what your opening view of this video. Uh, in today's video, talking about some news that I read, talking about the trading charts, three of them, talking about trading tips, travel tips, and much more when I walk the beach again, trying to keep it below 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, I'm a little bit early, a little bit early today, normally the sun comes, uh, the sun rises at 6.50, it shifted to 7.07, .07. so tomorrow I can sleep a little bit longer, filming with this new setup, Boya, with this dead cat, hopefully the wind is not too bad now let's start today with the news Bam. the news for today is i read an article this a brilliant uh, this brazilian uh, streamer youtuber bitcoiner he was streaming about a gaming platform gala games i think it was and then when he wanted to um, open gala games he needed to take his password out of a stack document and when he was taking the password out of the stack document some of the viewers saw oh shit he's also sharing his private key uh, unintendedly sharing his private key so a few viewers probably were very smart they copied the private key they went into his metamask wallet and they took all out of the metic that he had there which was worth around 50,000 US dollar so that again gives me the confidence that I'm not the only one that's being hacked. But I was really hacked in a way that your people had a drainer through OpenSea, blah, blah, blah. And that's how they got access to a lot of tokens. This guy just shared his private key, which is not the smartest thing. So the news is uh, always make sure that your safety is set up in the right way, guys. Because even experienced people like this YouTube streamer sometimes will hold his private key in a tax document or something. That's something I did in 2017 and I quickly realized, nah, that's not the safest way. Uh, and, and then it, it is exposed during a life and then people just copied it and just started to withdraw. You know, I don't like those viewers, of course, they should give him the, 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 the medics back or whatever, you know, it's like it's never nice to hack someone. And especially not someone that you follow yeah, probably my hacker will also be a follower but that brings me guys uh, to a very important tip of today Bam. the tip for today is guys and that's a security tip always make sure that your seed phrase is not on the telephone where your wallet is so if you install a Bitcoin wallet, please keep the seed phrase, the 24 words or 12 words, aside of this telephone, not on the same telephone. Don't put it in your document or some stupid thing like that. Use something external, write it somewhere down or put it in a safe or whatever, but don't use the same telephone where your Bitcoin wallet is on to store the secret phrase. I would also not store it in your iCloud because iClouds can be hacked it's a third party maybe they have some kind of maleficent person working at that iCloud company that will take your private keys store it very secure and safely there is this beautiful wall uh, there's this beautiful thing it's called like a steel how does it call again crypto steel and i've been using crypto steel already for years and this is like steel plates that you pinch your seed phrase in in a encrypted code and only you have that code and if somebody finds the steel plates it still can't do anything with it but if you have your steel plates you can retrieve your uh, seed phrase from that steel plate and the beautiful part of that steel plate yeah that's not a promotion guys but that's what i'm using and um, then guys uh, you can even have it burned in a house because it can he handle all the heat probably even the heat that happened in hawaii the steel plate will always be there you can always retrieve your seed phrase. I'm also talking to this new company, guys. It's a normal company, but I've been talking with them now since a week. They are called Inherity. 
Uh, it's a Belgian company uh, and Inherity makes it possible for you to store your seed phrase in the cloud but, uh, but then with like multi-signature. So if you want to retrieve that seed phrase you need a couple of stuff. You need like for example uh, uh, the signing of one of the wallets, uh, you need for example the small hardware wallet and another thing. You can, I think you can organize all of that. I still need to dive deeper in this but the Inherity thing yeah, it looks very uh, uh, cool to me if you are afraid to have your seed rays with you all the time. Uh, that was the security tip for today. Bam! Being hacked also leads for me to the life advice for today. Be resilient. Always resilient, guys. And what does that mean? Whatever hits you down, you will always be able to recover in life. I know how bad it might feel. I felt really bad when they took 200k of me. But because I was resilient, I just started to turn around my mindset and said, no, I'm gonna earn this back. I'm just, just gonna drop it. I'm not gonna go and search for the people and all that stuff. I will just, uh, I will just trust my own talents and make that amount back that I lost. by working very hard. You can always bounce back from the bottom. That's why it's very important to be resilient in life. Never give up. Always keep pushing. Always keep coming back from that bottom. If you're in sport or if you're a trader or whatever that you do in life, there is moments that you feel down. There is moments they break you down. And then those moments that you cover from that down, those feel amazing. That is the moment you are resilient. Always be resilient. Bam. Now that I'm giving all those tips guys, there is one more tip that you still get from me. Uh, that's the travel tip. The travel tip for today is always have your visas in order. Good morning. Come, what are you going to do? Are you going to say hello? <laughs> guys, make sure before you start to travel to another country that you know what kind of visas are needed. You don't want to be in a legal battle on the airport or wherever because you don't have your visas in order. Always check if your always check what kind of visas are needed. And it all depends on your passport. Different passport holders can get different visas. For example, we as Dutch people, if we go to Thailand, for example, we normally get 30 days and then we can extend again with another 30 days. If we go to the embassy, we can apply for 60 days directly. So there's many different options. If you want to stay long term, then make sure that you discover, make sure you research all the long term possibilities. For Thailand, for example, you can take a student visa, an educational visa, uh, which gives you uh, the possibility to stay in Thailand for a year without the need of extending your visa every month. You just need to go to the office every 90 days to extend an educational visa, for example. And every country has different visas. So make sure that you always have the right visa if you start to travel. That was the travel tip of today. Bam. The sun is slowly rising, guys. Let me know what you think about the sound because it's really, really windy. And the waves, is this mic performing well? Is this mic performing well? The point, yeah. So then finally the moment comes there guys for you guys the jars let's jump into the ta part of the video i have three amazing jars bam this is the first chart of today guys yes bam we made a new all-time high we made a new all-time high in the btc number of addresses holding 0.01 bitcoins or more so 0.01 bitcoins or more we now have a new all-time high 12,327,748 addresses are holding more than 0.01 Bitcoin. So finally, everyone is watching my videos and listening to me and buying these dips. Dollar cost average into Bitcoin, buy as much as possible as you can. And luckily, there's also a lot of small addresses that hold more than 0.01 Bitcoin. I'm happy to see that 
because that's probably uh, the more poor people in the world that buy these smaller amounts of bitcoins congratulations maybe in the far future will you will also will be millionaires <laughs> uh, it's not going to go that fast but i'm happy to see all the highs in these negative times on the rest of the charts guys now and um, then we need to zoom out i found this one beautifully on twitter i always share charts of other people as well because they deserve a platform this was scalping pro uh, created a very simplified chart of the one that i also share always but then a little bit more detailed uh, look 2015 bearish we start on the left of the chart 2016 bullish 2017 the top then again 2019 bearish that's four years later 2015 plus four is 2019 then 2020 that was bullish that's four years later than 2016 2021 that was the top that's four years later than 2017 and then again 2023 that was bearish just like 2019 four years later 2024 will be a little bit more bullish and 2025 we will again see the top that's how simple it works is the top really going to be 280k like this chart is showing you i don't believe so i think that that last line that last cycle needs to go a little bit more flat because if you look to the two previous cycles the first one was steep the second one was a little bit flatter and the third one in my honest opinion will be a little bit flatter as well ah, look if this line would finish at 160k a little bit more flat i could agree with it completely but beautiful chart to see how you need to zoom out in bitcoin then the last chart is this one also very important these are the bitcoin exchange transactions uh, dominance uh, that are showed on this chart and what we can see at the moment is that the last three months the withdrawals from exchanges have surpassed the deposits for three consecutive months so there were more bitcoins withdrawn from exchanges than there were deposited and that already now for three consecutive months just look to the left we haven't seen that for a very 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 long time that there is more bitcoins withdrawn from the exchanges than deposited this means people finally understood what hodl means you hodl bitcoin you buy bitcoin you take it from the exchange into cold storage which is the most secure way and i believe that these charts now are telling me yes people understand to not hold their bitcoins too much on exchanges which leads into the next part of the video over here guys Bam. I hope you really enjoyed the charts guys again to be very clear for me stressing about the short term is not that important for me you need to zoom out in Bitcoin you need to understand the cycle and we are now near the bottom of the bear market in the cycle so we just left the bear market in my honest opinion and we're gonna move slowly upwards again to April 2000 uh, 24 where the halving will be and from there again we have this beautiful explosive bull run and the top will be 17 18 months after the halving like always in 2025 so make sure you always zoom out on the bitcoin charts and just dollar cost average into bitcoin with everything that you have if, for example if you still have a garage full with secondhand stuff or your attic or your basement full with secondhand stuff please start to sell all that stuff you're not needing it you're not using it that's why it's on your attic or that's why on your basement or in your garage because you haven't been using it let me know how long haven't you been using that stuff that you store for if you would need it in the future you will not need that in the future and if you will need something like that in the future you can always buy it back from the profits that you will be making with bitcoin sell all your stuff do a garage sale sell the stuff buy bitcoin you won't be missing that stuff because you don't need it daily you will buy some bitcoins bitcoin will go up in the next one and a half year and after one and a half year if you then more if you then might need some of that stuff that you sold you can buy that back don't fall in love with materialistic stuff fall in love with bitcoin which is deflationary and which makes it able in the future for you to buy whatever the fuck you want so that was another tip for today a video full of tips guys Bam. which leads me to the trading tip for today when it comes to trading guys always make sure you do research after the exchange that you're using to trade 
for me there is one and only good exchange at the moment that I fully trust that is even fully transparent and that is Bybit. Bybit for me is the best one out there of course also because Max Verstappen won again you know we are the number one when it comes to racing Red Bull racing also huge sponsor over there Bybit um, so Bybit if you want to use that one it gives you a shitload of bonuses and then people think yeah but then it's a scam no they are sharing their profits that they make from all the fees with their users so they make profits and a huge part of those profits they give back in bonuses to their users that's how it works that's why Bybit is the best and because I sign you up to Bybit you use my link I get a little bonus as well and I believe I really deserve that bonus as I'm walking this beach every morning that's tough work <laughs> and I'm educating everyone through my YouTube and other channels every day again and again so I don't think it's bad that I get a small commission for that and then the most beautiful part is as you know we don't buy Lamborghinis of that commission I won't buy a big ass villa of that commission uh, I might travel a little bit to beautiful countries where I then share that commission with poor people all over the world that's how we built the school in Mexico that's how we built and donate stuff to homeless shelters to children and all that I even bought one time I think 50 pairs of shoes uh, from a lot of kids in Venezuela all that kind of stuff just when it comes on my path I will share a part of my profits I made because of these links with those people so now go down below click that link and start uh, to use it because it's always important to trade on a trustable exchange and that is what you need you do your own research after do you trust the exchange does it have liquidity it has good security all that stuff and if you feel safe then you can put your assets on that exchange that was a trading tip for today Bam. Uh, and guys if you want to combine all these tips together like your security and a very nice exchange that you can do whatever you do the moment at the exchange that you're using like orders uh, buy orders sell orders stop losses then there is only one very safe option at the moment and that is using a decentralized exchange that is built on an order book model which means you can do all the stuff you now do on a centralized exchange without sending your bitcoins into that exchange you just connect your own wallet to an exchange for example through metamask and then you start to trade your funds on that exchange yes you can still put buy orders sell orders all of that stuff in it but it's all in your own wallet environment which means even if that exchange would collapse you still hold your currencies on your wallet like in FTX when that one collapsed the money was gone it wasn't on your wallet it was an FTX wallet nobody got their money back if you use a decentralized exchange like Apex Pro which is by far the best one out there also a link down below if you use a decentralized exchange the Bitcoins the Ethereum all other cryptocurrencies will be on your wallet that's being connected to that exchange that you can trade on the exchange even use buy orders and sell orders so not like Uniswap where you can do buy orders and sell orders and then even take your profits into your own wallet whatever happens to Apex doesn't matter because the crypto will always be in your wallet Apex Pro the link is down below BAM and that was everything for today guys I hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video hopefully with not too much wind I'm not gonna record it the second time because I did my best already now but if you did enjoy the video then give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about all the tips what do you think what everything else that I talked about talked about in this video uh, I wish you an amazing Monday I wish you an amazing crypto week I hope there is a lot of profits ahead of you even if you're shorting the market whatever you do uh, always play it safe guys and always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin look at the bigger picture and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every little minute of the day even if it's just a sunrise enjoy it to the fullest that's what you should be freaking out about to enjoy every single minute of the day thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again BAM